Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today to forge a war here on our reproduction games, trying to get these bins going. So I have some blended food. I have a um, coconut core and kelp meal and alfalfa meal, neem cake, oyster shell, coffee grounds mix here. So it's more of a live bedding. And I wanted to get in here, peek into all of the bins and add a little bit of this bedding, add a little bit of this food, and hope we can get these guys taking off. So let me set up my light and my camera and we will get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with the European night crawlers like we always do. The paper towel in here is um, pretty dry that I have covering the surface, but I'm hoping we have some more action today. Maybe spot a few cocoons. Here's one of our Euros right away. Nice and feisty little guy. I can see some small amounts of castings that have kind of fallen to the bottom. Um, similar to in past weeks, it seems like there's pockets of moisture and then pockets that are on the drier side. But the worms are doing excellently. Um, I see, I thought I saw number three, maybe not. Here is, it looks like that orange slice. I don't know where it went. Oh, it looks like it's disintegrating. It's down, down here. It's still a little bit of mold and all on here. But, you know, the worms are still in here. And um, I'm going to just feed these as I go because I fully intended to do it no matter what. Because I knew this had been going a little bit slowly, more slowly than I would have liked. So... We're gonna get some action going in here, I hope. So I'm gonna dig down in the corner here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a scoop full of this um, blended food in here. And it smells very, very rancid. It's a combination, it's bananas, bell peppers, um, jalapenos, stuff like that. So I'm literally going to put that right on the bottom and cover it with castings. And then I want to mix in a little bit of this live bedding that I um, put together hoping to kind of jumpstart the microbial activity. So I'm going to add a full, what is this, a cup, cup full of this in here. And I'm just going to like loosely mix it in a little bit, hoping that will help with moisture retention. Of course, that feeding is really wet as well. Um, so that might help get all of this going. So um, let's move on to the red wigglers and see how they are getting along. And hopefully we'll see a little bit more action in there. All right, guys. So here we are with the red wigglers. You can see how dry the top is because of how dark it is beneath. And I'm going to be looking, wait a second. Guys, this is like super exciting. We must have had a cocoon in here and it is hatched because that is quite a small baby. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit more encouraged about this. It's been uh, quite a slow process getting started. I'm falling behind the crowd with it, but maybe the Red Wigglers will pull out and get us get us going. Um, so now I'm looking really carefully, see if I see any cocoons. And at least as of yet, I'm not. Um, but I'm thinking there's probably some in here that we just aren't seeing because the cocoons are so small. And there's not many castings built up for them to really show up well against. It looks like there's a little bit of that orange left. And kind of wet in spots, dry in spots, pretty much how it has been. I think I saw like one of the worms and now I can't find them. Oh, 
Well, I was hoping we could find them. If there's that baby in here, I know there's some adults in here. I just think they're evading me a little bit right now, but I'm super excited. Here's one. We at least know we have one guy in here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Liter literally put just this scoop full directly down on the bottom. Yes, the bottom is already a little bit wet, but with um, mixing all of this in here, I think it'll be just fine. So I'm just going to cover it back up and then do just like we did with the other bin and just add a full cup full of this moistened bedding. And I'm just going to, oh, I don't want that orange to be up top. Make sure I cover that down here on the bottom. Just kind of mix this in a little bit. This will help kind of create more of a live living bedding that will hopefully get the microbial life going and kind of get us back on track. But how exciting that there is a wisp finally. So there must have been a cocoon that I missed. And now I'm going to hop over to the African night crawlers and we will finish up there for the day. Okay, let's see. Here's our orange. It is actually less broken down in here than I think in either of the other bins, which is interesting. So I'm actually gonna put it back here so that we make sure it's well covered. That's certainly interesting to me. But I have said before that the African night crawlers seem to like the um, carbon sources more than the food sometimes, but check this guy out. Really large worm hanging out in some of the moist portions of the bottom here. Oh my gosh. That is in fact one worm. So he looks good too. Nice thing about the African night crawlers is they're very large, so it's hard to miss them. But I'm just carefully looking to see if I see any prominent cocoons or anything like that. I kind of doubt I would spot them at this point. It's been a little challenging. But um, this bin is a little bit more moist than the other one. I see another African night crawler down here in the corner. See that purple flash they give off? I'm trying to see if I can get the lighting just right on him. Anyway, it's like an iridescent hue, it's kind of cool. So I'm going to put him back down there with his friends, cover that corner back up that has the orange piece, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do a scoop full of this lovely moist slop um, that I blended up. I'm trying to get one that doesn't have big chunks of stuff so that the stuff doesn't look like it blended up quite as well as I would have liked. Okay, so there we go. Cover that back up loosely. And we'll finish off with a cup of this new bedding that we're trying out. There we go. I'm just going to loosely mix this in exact same procedure all the way around with all the bins. See if um, this will finally get the, the moisture just right. And see if um, the worms will start laying more cocoons for us if they feel like this environment is a little bit more suitable to laying cocoons. So um, I'm happy to finally spot a wisp even though we haven't seen cocoons. Um, everything's looking great. So let me know what you think. Drop your comments below.
like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.